Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're gonna be working with the EWWW image optimization plugin for WordPress. We're gonna be compressing our images to the maximum compression while paying attention to image quality and image size. Now, the goal here is to, for me at least, is to reduce the amount of image data being sent from my server, my WordPress website server to the client that way that my pages will load quicker because if you have a page with you know many many megabytes of size being sent across the network to every one of your users that's going to take a long time for them to download whereas if you have just a couple megabytes maybe up to a few megabytes in size for each page it's going to be a lot quicker for your users to load the page so let's see what we can accomplish with this plugin and let's go ahead and take a look at my website here we're going to be working with tonytravels.com and I just want to start out by going into a guest window and getting some benchmark numbers here. So I have the same website, tonytravels.com. Um, I just want to refresh the page here and we can see all of our resources being loaded on the right hand side. And it looks like we have on the home page 4.8 megabytes of resources and our images alone are 4.4 megabytes. And if we go to, let's say, the travel blog page here, um, we have 9.9 .9 megabytes of images on this page. So let's keep those numbers in mind and do keep in mind that these are already compressed images. They are, they have been compressed with the EWW image optimization plugin. Um, they weren't maximum compressed, like they were just like probably medium compressed um, and they are, ha they have been converted to WebP format. So if you wanna learn how to do that, um, Check out the video in the upper right hand corner uh, for a tutorial on that first. Um, and then this tutorial that we're launching today is going to be compressing them even more because as you would imagine, this was a lot bigger. This, this page was a lot bigger in size before we did that. So uh, let's minimize this, go back to our WordPress admin dashboard. And you will need the WordPress um, plugin for the EWW image optimizer, which I do already have installed down here. So let's look at the settings for that. And as I was saying, we're using probably like a medium compression right now for our images. So JPEGs were premium. Let's bump that to the maximum compression of premium plus and PNGs. Let's make that premium plus as well. GIFs, I think that's the maximum you can go and I'm not gonna worry about PDFs. Um, one other thing I did wanna pay attention to is image quality. So let's just pick out a few images here. Um, let's do the Mong Noi one because that one was a picture that I took on my cell phone. We'll just keep this here um, and we can compare it to the after, after we convert it. And then let's pick one that's more of like a, uh, um, like more of a cartoon type of picture, which is this one right here, about ATM fee rebate. So what do we have? We have that one at 43.3 kilobytes and the one of Mong Noi in Lao as, where was that one? Mong Noi, Nong Kiao, uh, Mong Noi right here. So that one was 984 kilobytes. Let's pick a big one too. Let's pick uh, Europe budget travel tips. That's one megabyter. Okay, so we'll just keep them up in the background uh, while we do the in image compression. So let's go to the, uh, since we changed these actually, let's go ahead and save these changes. And I'm gonna go into the bulk optimize tool up here. And I'm gonna make sure I click on smart re-optimize because this is the second time I'm doing the re-optimization. So that just means, and I'm gonna read it to you. If compression settings have changed, re-optimized, images that were compressed on the old settings, oh, like re-optimized images, yeah. So if possible, images compressed in premium mode will be restored back to originals beforehand. Okay, so um, the way EWWW works is that you have to get image credits in order to compress each individual image. It's like literally like a fraction of a cent to compress an image. So um, to get some image credits, I'll have a link down below for that. And there, I think let's start off by scanning for unoptimized images based on their smart reoptimized settings. So that's 1,366 images to um, compress. They're gonna do compression, compressing each size. So like a high resolution image, like a smaller like crop down image, and they're gonna make big, small, medium, large, like all the different size images um, and compressing them. So 
I have 2200 credits. Um, I only need 1300. So let's go ahead and begin the optimization. And this will take some time and I'm, this video will be really long if we just sat here and watch this. So let's just, uh, let's just let this go. Um, and I'll catch back up with you when it finishes. All right, guys, we're back and that took a good hour. Or so for all of those, you know, thousand of images to convert. Um, but the good thing is that's a once and done thing. So we don't have to worry about that again. And any future images that we add to our WordPress website uh, will be automatically converted in the background. So we can pretty much pick up where we left off and see how these changes, these compressions have affected the size of our web page. So um, there's nothing else we have to do in the plugin. So we can pull up that page that we had here. And just to remember, we had um, 10 megabytes of images alone on this travel blog page. And we just kept a couple of these open to compare quality. So um, let's leave that open. I'm going to pull in another window here on top of this so we can compare them to eventually. And I'm going to go to view, same thing, developer, developer tools, and then go to tonytravels.com slash travel blog. And let's see what happens here. Um, that's amazing. Four megabytes. We're down from 10 to four megabytes. And let's just confirm that. Um, actually, it's even better than that. 3.6 megabytes of images alone compared to it was like 9.9 .9 before. So what is that as a reduction? So, oops, not the calendar. Let's go to the calculator. I have that down here. The calculator tells us that um, 3.6 divided by 9.9 .9 equals a and minus one. That's a 63% reduction in image size by compressing them. And, you know, at least from this uh, view here on the screen, they look fine, right? They're small images. You can't really tell that they're compressed at, at by any means, right? Um, let's go ahead and pull some of them up. I'm going to make this about half screen each one of these. So we got the old on the left and the new on the right. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up the Europe budget travel. So the old on the left, and then let's open this on the right to just compare the quality. And um, I don't think I can tell a difference, uh, which is amazing because we just reduced this by over 50%. So, I mean, no, no difference whatsoever. Let's check out another one. Let's do the ATM fee rebates, the one that looks like more of a cartoon than anything. Um, it's not an actual picture. So let's open that in a new tab. Um, nope. No difference whatsoever in my eyes. And then finally, just for completeness sake, the Mong Noi Lao video, which was this one right here. So let's open that in a new tab and bada boom, bada bang. It looks really good. Um, I, I, I'm not, like, I didn't do this test beforehand. I'm doing this live for you. And I'm actually very impressed that we went from 9.9 .9 to 3.6. That's significant. And the the load time, I mean, just think about it. When your users come to your website, they have to download that. And then if they have a bad internet connection, that's going to take them more than, you know, just a few seconds to download. So the in general for website optimization, the one of the main principles is to reduce the, the size of your web page so that all users can potentially download it as quick as possible, regardless of their internet data connection. So um, my opinion is, and you have a lot of options, but the EWWW image optimizer helps you do that pretty darn easily, as you saw in this tutorial. Um, they have lots of varying levels. If you, I mean, if you're like an artist and you have, you need to have high resolution images on your website, then go ahead. But I'd still recommend that you compress the thumbnail that the people are going to look at when they load your page. So anyway, that's a topic for another video. Um, I hope you got something out of this video. Like I said, there is, um, you can get some additional image credits if you're going to use EWW uh, down below in the description. So check that out and please give this video a thumbs up if you got some value out of it. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this along the lines of uh, optimizing your WordPress website. And if you do subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.